The focus has always been on the, the social and, and human cost or loss of accident. But do you know that Ghana spends up to $230 million every year treating injuries and traffic fatalities? Yes, an additional 950 million cities is lost annually in human capital due to road accidents, according to the National Road Safety Authority's data. Grace Hamas, sorry, takes us through the cost or, or the impact economically and the burden of road accidents. Road traffic fatalities affect low- and middle-income countries where 90% of global road deaths occur. Rising incomes in many developing countries have led to rapid motorization, while road safety management and regulations have not kept pace. The spate of road traffic accidents in Ghana has claimed the lives of 46,284 people in 27 years, covering the period between 1991 and 2018. This means averagely 1,714 people are killed each year. The World Bank in its 2018 road safety report indicated that the greatest share of mortality and long-term disability from road traffic crashes happen amongst the working age population who are between 15 and 64 years. Data from the statistical service indicates that the GDP per capita in Ghana for 2019 was $2,223. This means that if 2,284 people died in 2019, then the country lost 51 million and 92,076 dollars to accidents in that year. Apart from the financial loss, the country also recorded diminished productivity and reduced growth prospect. The National Road Safety Authority lament how this affects their budgetary allocation. Driver error contributes about 80% of all road traffic crashes in the country, with driver inattentiveness representing 28.1%, speeding 24.8%, and lost hearing control 23.4%. Between 1991 and 2019, over 50,000 people have been killed in Ghana through road accident. Out of these 50,000, 30,000 are people who belong to the working class. This means that the per capita income of the country will continue to reduce, as well as people who contribute to the economic growth of the country. If pragmatic measures are not introduced to reduce the increasing rates of road accidents in the country, these people are also breadwinners of their families, which also contribute to the high dependence ratio in the country. CV3 News, Grace Hamwa Sari, Accra.